1926, Robert Goddard launched and then crashed the world's first liquid propellant rocket, its weird design falling afoul of the pendulum rocket fallacy. Intuitively, it makes sense to put your engines up top. If I hold this rocket from its bottom, then it just falls over, but pulling from the top like a pendulum, this one is able to stay stable. Likewise, during flight, we'd expect that this heavy fuel section keeps the rocket pointing upward. This doesn't work. I'm about to drop this 5kg medicine ball and half kilo volleyball. Although the medicine ball is experiencing greater weight force, it also takes more force to move. These factors cancel out and both balls land at the same time. Since the sections experience the same gravitational acceleration, weight alone can't write our structure. This isn't true in a pendulum since the pivot is pinned in place. The only way to change orientation is with a sideways force providing rotational torque, but since the engines are fixed in position, no torque can be generated. For the love of Goddard, just have spins. 